Hello, everyone, and welcome to more Line It here on the Sorcerer Network. Uh, my name is Sorcerer Matt. Um, this is going to be the last video that we do of this game for a little bit. Um, so, however, I did not realize that I was entering into a three-player game. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Um, all righty. Well, this is exciting. Um, uh, let's see. What do I want to do? Well, I'm thinking I want to start with one. Um... Uh, you know, just kind of feeling like I got some other stuff I want to do. Um, we make, you know, circle around to it and everything. But, um, you know, this is one of those games that um, it's great to feature. But then um, it gets to a point where you're seeing a lot of the same thing. So, um, you know, I, I accidentally hit the three-player version. So we're going to kind of get to see what that three-player version looks like. Um, and kind of how that, the... Um, the uh, uh, the dynamic of everything changes, but uh, really all everything is the same. It just uh, means that there's one more card in the market. Um, so I'm gonna grab this eight and just put it in my hand in case there is something a little bit lower. Um, getting a little bit unlucky with uh, the bets. Um, however, we do get very lucky with the three, which I will happily play. Um, I don't see any reason why I would need want to wait for a two there. Um, yeah, so there's the bets. That's okay. Um, I can hopefully take down some nice jackpots. That will be helpful. Because um, the one, if there is a downside of the bets is they are not colored at all. And so, um, you know, there's there's a feasible way that you could, um, you know, it's 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 not optimal. However, the bonus points that you get from it usually make up for that. So, um, all right, um, let's. I believe it is our turn to go first here. Okay, so. Um, I'm going to grab the 67 to the hand um, and end the turn. Um, the green jackpot seems to be going up. Um, blue jackpot as well, so I, maybe I should have looked at a blue card, maybe the 50 rather than the 67, but no matter. Because um, I'm with no bet cards, I want to try to look at maybe taking down a jackpot, or in this case... Um, maybe trying to get a really, really long line, especially because my opponents are starting at 80 and 18. Those, that's not an optimal start. Um, so, you know, we'll see what happens. Okay, so um, the good news here is my opponents probably will not be able to, they, they probably will not be able to take this bet card because the, 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 they already have a bet card. So really the question's going to be, do I take the bet card or do I take the four? Because, you know, I was talking about a big, long line. Well, because I can't take both because both of them are, are, both of them are, are in the market. Um, I am going to make a, I think that it is going to score me more points. The three bet is, is not that great, but going from three to four, is really, really good. Um, so now I am going to... Um, I'm going to play the A tier and then take something to the hand, um, depending on what Cracked Roy takes. I'm assuming he's going to take... Man. Yeah, I mean, he kind of had to take that 33. So we're going to play the 8... And then I suppose I'm going to take the 73 to the hand and end the turn. Um, okay, so there's... Katie took down the the blue jackpot, which is fine. Um, so yeah, those were not great. Um, all right, so the 21 is going to be fine. And then we'll end the turn. Um, this does put us in the position to take both take down the red jackpot, um, which will be pretty nice. Um, I still would love to see some lower cards here. Um, the issue is because we have two higher cards in hand, it's going to be a little bit hard. We get we got to hit them on the market, which uh, 
can be a little bit difficult. Um, okay, so he took down the yellow jackpot. That's fine. That was only two. Um, so, like, as you can see here, like, you know, not a lot of points here. Um, the green jackpot's going to kind of be the one that I'm, I'm looking at. Um, so... Uh, what do I do here? That green jackpot's getting up there, but none of my opponents have any green cards. So, like, I'm, it's not at risk of, of being taken away by one of my opponents. So, ideally, what I'd like to do is add this 37. Um, now, granted, probably Cracked Roy takes that because that makes the most sense in his in his line um and if that's the case we just play the 67 and take the 91 and say so be it um you know if we can't make a long line we can't make a long line um now i don't know what he has in hand he has two cards in hand um, but, yeah, I, 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 I would like the 37. I would like to continue this line if possible, but if we can't, that's fine too. He's really thinking about it. I mean, he has to play at least one more card in order to get the bet, but, I mean, he can easily play one more card. That's not hard. Um, and sometimes in this game, you just kind of have to say, like, if I had to play 67 and 91 and, and close the line and say, so be it, like, it is what it is. Like, sometimes you just have to do that. Uh, but the, the one advantage that I'm having here is both my opponents went with the same colors, so I kind of have, like, a corner on, on red and green. Um, now, granted, the red jackpot is not, you know, really up there that high. But, um, you know, it is what it is. I don't know if, like, my cards doing this are, is my opponent scrolling over them. Like, I know I, I played some Magic the Gathering Arena, and, like, you can tell when someone is hovering over a card. One of the greatest delights in that game is when, is when someone clearly doesn't know how a card works, and then they're, like, hovering over the cards to see what it all does. <laughs> Just one of the great joys in life. Um, okay. Well, I would love it if Cracked Roy would, um, make a decision on what he wants to do. Um, that would be excellent. I mean, the, the, this game does have some strategy, but ulti ultimately, there's only so many decisions you can make before, um, you know, just... So I won't immediately attempt to expel him. Okay, there we go. See, yeah, he's he's fine. Um, okay, so he took the 37. That is okay. So we are just going to uh, play the 67 from my hand, take the 91, and end the turn. Um, that is okay. And now, honestly, we are going to uh, play the 73 in the night. We're going to play the 73 and take something into the hand. That will take down the red jackpot. We'll take down the green jackpot next turn, probably. But, um, um, yeah, I just think that's, that's going to be great. Okay, so he, he just cashed in here. Um, so yeah, so we play the 73. And then, like, we just grab something low here and end the turn. Um, that's fine. We took down a little jackpot. It's totally fine. And this line is not going to be the worst. Like, I mean, we'll get f at least five points off of it. That's okay. Um, really great start to the line. Just didn't get the cards to back it up near the end. Um this also um, was a really this the, having all of these cards that are like right in the middle of all of this um, I think kind of hurt everybody. Um, okay, so I'm gonna play this 91. That takes down that, and I'm going to close this line, and then I am gonna grab. 
I'm going to grab this three and just add it in. I'm going to try to grab that bet. Um, so I, I feel I feel good about that. So yeah, we, we got to take down two jackpots there. Um, feel really good about that, especially because my opponent was maybe looking at a jackpot. Cracked Roy gets a really nice um, uh, uh, starting one. He probably takes the two here and begins uh, begins a, a, a ascending line here. Yeah, excellent, 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 excellent. Okay, um, so um, we go last here, which is not ideal. But also not the worst thing. If we can get the 22, we'll do the 22 and play the 24. Um, but I'm just a little bit concerned that um, Cracked Roy is going to take that 22 because it is the lowest card and he is doing an ascending line. Um, yeah. Um, however, backup-wise, we'll just take the 32 to the hand and we end the turn. Um, so we're going to take either the 27 or the 29. Um, don't necessarily care which one. Assuming Cracked Roy is going to take the 27. Um, the one downside of that for him is going from 2 to 22 is a pretty big jump. Um, the nice thing with a 3-bet this late is, um, I shouldn't say this late. However, the cards do, like, go by a little bit quicker here. Um... So, yeah. So, we're going to go 24, and then we just put the 29 in hand in case we do hit something. Um, Katie probably takes the 99. Um, that's another great starter. Okay. Or not. Or we go right to the 39 and 43. Um, and maybe she's trying to take down a mini jackpot here. Um, okay. So... We play the 29, and then I'll let someone do the 5. Um, I think we grab the 47 here and end the turn. We're going to make the bet. I'd rather have somebody try to... I, I, this is pretty late in the game for three players. Just just by math, we got like eight more turns. Now, that's still probably enough turns to be able to, you know, get this bet. But it also depends on what cards you get. Um, like, you know, if... You know, like Katie has no cards in hand. So if... And starting your bet at 49 going ascending, that's... <laughs> that, that's a move. Um... Bad draw here for 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 cracked Roy. Um, just didn't get yeah. So he's got to play the ninety four. He does take down the jackpot, which is nice, but um, that that kind of kills that line um, really before it starts. Um, okay, um, this isn't great for us, especially because we kind of have to pick up the leftovers. However, we can take the thirty two, or we can put the thirty two. Um, on the line and then take whatever to the hand and hopefully we kind of roll it over to the next roll it over to the next round a little bit. Um I, I have noticed here that jackpots do not get as big um in the um three player game. Um so yeah we just I'm gonna play this and then I'm gonna take the 68 because I will I I I'll feel okay taking down the uh yellow jackpot um, 38 would be great here. The 40 would be great here. So really, that's the nice thing is either the 38 or the 40 is going to be really, really nice. Um, so, um, just whatever he decides to take. So yeah, he has the 40 to the hand. So the 38 is going to feel excellent here. And we're just going to go ahead and end that turn. Um, just in case we do hit something that is between 38 and 47, we will go first next time. So um, that's advantage there. We have made the bet. Um, what I would like to do is keep this line going throughout um, the the end of this game. That is kind of the ideal there. So Katie just decides to abandon ship, um, and pro and and maybe I don't know what that was like. She had to do that or what happened there, but. Um, 
All right, so tad unlucky there, but we will take um, the 47 and put it there. And then I'm going to take the 69 because I do have 68. So um, at the very least, even if we have to make the jump from 47 to 68, having the 69 to play behind it is also going to be good. Um, the other fact that we will probably ha want to look at is, um, as I almost pull my headphones out of the mic, um, like, yeah, um, so he adds, so Katie adds the 36. Um, we'll have to watch out because I do want to take down this yellow jackpot. So if Cracked Roy plays another yellow card, um, like his one away, um, now granted, we're going to go after him. So yeah, this is what's concerning to me is... Um, like that he does just go for this jackpot, which if that happens, that happens. Um, red is the other thing that, you know, being on the lookout for. Um, so Katie's got to go. Um, really, it seems to be it's it's between me and Cracked Roy at this point. Um, the good news is Cracked Roy had to end that run uh, prematurely. Um, the other thing to look out for, okay, um, would be the, <laughs> you, you do you, Katie, um, would be the red jackpot, um, because I am going to have two red. Um, curious what Roy is going to do here, because the better card for his run is going 23 or 25. Um, but um, if he wants to take down this jackpot, that's going to be a little more complicated. Curious what he does here. Correct, Roy is a thinker, which I respect. I'm a little bit more impulsive in games. <laughs> Hence a lot of the, like, dumb errors that I make, like, over and over again. But hey, that's fine. So he's looking at my my stuff. So yeah, unlucky that like all three of these cards we can't use. So yeah, okay. So um, so yeah, he took down the yellow jackpot, which is slightly annoying because we would have taken it down here. However, we're gonna we're we're getting to the end of the turns. Really, the 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 one that I need to look at taking down right now is that red jackpot. Which the good news is I don't have any competition for it. No red on Cracked Roy, no red on Katie, so, and I have a red card in hand, so ideally, I want to pick up this 89, is what I want to do. Um, so, I might as well just play this 69, because I'm going to, I'm going to play it. And then I'm going to end the turn. Um, the other good news here is that, um, is a high, high likelihood, um, or I shouldn't say high, a good likelihood that, um... Oh, man, green is another one that um, just... So, I am going to... I'm going to add this to my hand and end the turn. Um, I don't know whether that was a mistake, because um, if Roy has a... Um, red card in hand, he's going to be able to take down that big jackpot. And I don't remember what he has in hand because I'm not paying attention to that. Um, so he has a 66 and he adds the 77. Okay. So now, um, that was probably a mistake. No. It was not because I got rewarded for it. He can't use this one. Um... So, um, the question here is, yeah, I'm going to, so uh, Cracked Roy is going to have to choose something, and then I think I just go ahead and take down the red jackpot. He's going to try for the green one, um, but I need to make sure that I take this down. Like, 100%, I, I, I need to take that down. Um, and then I might as well just take a nine, I guess, and end the turn. Next turn is the last one. So there's no green that is on the board. Um, that is really good news. So that means he has to have it in hand. And I don't know. I know he has a red card in hand. And if he has a green card in hand, then excellent. Good for him. Um, nope, he has, he did not. So, um, this is good for us. 
we can play this 90 right there and end the turn. I suppose I could have closed the line like it, you know, it really doesn't matter. I'm going to, it's going to close anyway. Um, but yeah, so I mean, this, this is a really nice, um, really, really nice ending. We were able to keep that line going uh, for the, the longest time. Um, so yeah, he plays a card. I'm going to, I could just pass. And I'm assuming this force closes or did I just like com make a complete terrible error by not closing the line? Oh, okay, no, no, no. Okay, great. Great, 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 great. Hey, look at that. So we win. Um, yeah, yeah, that's great. Um, so I want to look at the stats here. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, jackpots, that last jackpot was really what, what pushed it over. But um, you can also see I had the most in, in scored line cards, and then the bets were pretty well even, so uh, we didn't have to worry about that. So, yeah, it's just really the the jackpots were the big thing, that last jackpot. So, all righty. Well, um, because that three-player game is a little bit long, um, um, we'll just stick to one here. Um, so, yeah, that's Line It. Um, um, really great game. Uh, uh, I really love it. Um, I'm going to be featuring a new game here, a suggestion that someone gave us. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll tease that. Um, I've been playing it to understand the rules, um, so maybe I don't do what I did with Line It, where I come in and go, what's going on? And then you all have to tell me in the comments. Um, so I, I, I think I understand. So this time, hopefully, you will be able to just tell me strategies in the comments. So take a look on that. I believe this is coming out on Saturday to be able to look at that for Sunday, Father's Day. If you want to be notified when that happens, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, uh, like, comment, all that jazz. I really appreciate it as I am trying to build the channel. Alrighty, we will see you all next time.